Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Thursday thrift video. Almost forgot what it's called then because I haven't done one in a couple of weeks. But with that said, this video is going to be a corker so I think I might have to do it in two parts. Yeah, I think I might do that. In this video I'll just show you the clothes and then I'll show you the accessories that I picked up secondhand in the next video. So you've got that to look forward to. I'll link it down below once it's live. So without further ado, let me show you the first thing I got. I'll do tops first. So I picked this up at, most of the stuff I got at a jumble sale. This was 50 pence at a jumble sale. And this is a green deep v-neck jumper, although it's pretty much a dress on me. I really, really like this. I love this colour. It's so pretty. It really does make green eyes. It brings out the green in the eyes, but it also makes, because I usually wear warm eyeshadow or pink eyeshadow, this complements it pretty well. So that's the first thing I got. Like I said, 50p, absolute bargain. Good for lounging about in, but also good for actually wearing out. I also picked up a couple of basics at the jumble sale. I got this thermal, this really pretty thermal vest, but it's, it's got long sleeves, but it's also got this really pretty lace detail. And I like wearing this with the back at the front because there's no label so it doesn't get itchy and it just looks like quite a nice high neck piece to layer with. Again, 50 pence and then I also just got this little strap top, which I've been needing basics. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been having a bit of a dilemma at the moment because I've been searching for basics secondhand and having absolutely no luck. Either they are bad quality or, you know, bad condition or they don't fit properly. If I order them from Depop, obviously I can't return them. It means I'm wasting money. I can't find anything that I want in a charity shop near me. I, I love charity shops, but I think they're very hit and miss. I think it's kind of like a seasonal thing because it all depends on when they get donations. So yeah, I was in a bit of a rut because I was thinking, listen, I need some basics for just life and work. In my head I was like, should I just buy some basics first hand off the high street? But then also in my head I was like, I can't do that. Like I, ha I don't shop fast fashion anymore. It would feel so weird. So I was kind of like battling in my head, should I, shouldn't I? And I was asking you for your opinion because a lot of ethical shops either they're really expensive or I just don't like the style of the clothes they sell being completely honest it's just not my style so yeah I was in a bit of a pickle but luckily I picked up some basics that I really really like so yeah this vest top I know it's so simple but I feel like without basics you can't get the most out of your secondhand wardrobe because it's hard to put an outfit together without those basics in check if you know what I mean I think you probably do um also on that basics vibe I picked up this this is probably really boring to show you I've got some cool stuff don't worry cool stuff coming up but yeah I just got this black wrap top which was originally from H&M but I got it in a charity shop for £4 so that's I've been wearing that a lot that's a, a good piece also from a charity shop I got this uh this is beautiful actually it is a lilac frilly wrap top ties up in the middle I find these really really flattering especially if you've got small boobs because it kind of cinches you in underneath your boobs but makes you look like you've got more boobs to work with you know what I mean so yeah that's that one love this color as well very very pretty a lot of this this color scheme that I've got going on is very spring-esque probably the wrong time like literally the opposite time of the year to be shopping for this stuff but speaking of spring-esque I also picked up this this is originally by the brand Winsmore and I've had a few pieces from Winsmore secondhand before and it is such a luxe brand. Like, I think my mum saw me wearing a Winsmore blouse before and she said, oh, like that used to be a massive, really fancy brand. I don't know if they're still around, but everything I've had from them is such good quality. It served me so well. This was two pound. It's actually a co-ord. I don't know if I'd wear it with this jumper, but just to show you what it fits like, because I always find jackets like this, if they're too big, they're quite obviously too big because the shoulders look ridiculous. I, oh yeah, I wouldn't wear this jumper underneath it because it makes it look a bit puffy at the top but yeah I put this on and I just feel like a lady I feel like you could dress this down with just wearing it over some you know wearing some jeans and a plain top uh, or a plain blouse I feel like it could be dressed down but it could also be dressed up and like I said it's part of a co-ord so it came with this skirt although this skirt is tiny <laughs> this must be small this must be a size four smaller than a size six it says eight on the tag but you know how vintage size is an eight I don't think it's an eight a current eight anyway so yeah this is tiny I don't know does anyone have any ideas of how I could alter this because the waist is really really small but also it's quite long so I would be happy if I kind of took it to here and then made a waistband here but I have no idea how to do that so if anyone's got any tips then please do let me know because I love this colour I think it's such a lovely shade of yellow I'm going to take this off because I'm getting quite hot but like I said those two pieces were two pounds together so very very inexpensive also from the jumble sale I picked up another coat and this was again two pounds and I don't know why it's got a raffle ticket on it let me just take that off <laughs> but this is a very long coat I think it might be too big for me 
yeah I think it might be too big for me just on the shoulders it looks a bit too big I think I've just got to be careful what I wear it with but it is beautiful it's such good quality it's really really warm it's got amazing pockets it's kind of like a woolen trench coat because it wraps around in the middle and it's got these kind of it's not padded oh, actually maybe I could take the shoulders out shoulder pads out yeah I didn't realize it had shoulder pads in it Okay, I'll do that. I'll unstitch it and then take the shoulder pads out. Then I, don't, I think it will look a little bit less. The thing is, when you're when you're short or petite and you're shopping for vintage stuff, a lot of it. I mean, I know I just said that that skirt's really really small, but it's either really really long or a really oversized. Like I see so many lovely coats and jackets that are just way too oversized for me, which would just swamp me. Whereas I feel like if you're taller, you have a bit more space to work with. So something like this would really really suit you. Um, yeah, I might sell, I might see if this works for me. If not, I'll sell it all on Depop because I think someone who was taller would really, really like this. It looks very, it looks very expensive. The brand is Feminella. Never heard of them, but yeah, it feels really, really well made, and I like that a lot. And then again, I picked up another jumper. This is just a boring beige V-neck jumper, but I needed some jumpers for work. I also picked up this jumper I'm wearing here. This was also 50p. Most of these pieces were 50p, so this was as well. Um, I also picked up some shoes four pairs of shoes and a bag which I think I'll show you in a part two like I said because I don't want this video to be too long. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've, oh I also, no I didn't buy these earrings. These were really kindly sent to me by my friend on Instagram but aren't they so pretty? They're these gold leaves, kind of like maple leaves but laid on top of each other. So lovely. They're clip-ons so sometimes they pinch my ears in the wrong place and um yeah I have to kind of move them otherwise I get a headache but other than that I love them they're so so pretty and yeah I'm so grateful for that she's such a sweetheart but um yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did maybe give it a thumbs up if you like thrifting stick around for Thursday thrift and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more from me and hopefully I shall catch you in my next one bye guys <laughs>